In this exercise, we're going to draw cylinders in one point perspective. So let's start by going up to the menu. I'm going to click on File and then go down to Open. And I'm going to open up one point cylinders.tiff. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the grid layer right here and I'm going to take my line tool right here and I'm going to draw in a line from this corner to this corner and then I'll go from this corner over here drag it down to the opposite corner here. Okay. What that's going to do is that's going to show me where the center of this picture frame is. Okay. I'm now going to go to my, my horizon line. I'll turn off this tool. I'm just going to hold down shift and I'll draw in a horizon. And then in the center right here, I'm going to put in a vanishing point. All right, I'm going to turn off the grid layer and I'm going to go to the boxes layer now. The easiest way to draw a cylinder is to start with a square. So I'll take the rectangle tool right here. I'm going to hold down shift and I'll draw in a square. And then I'm going to turn on my perspective tool. I'm going to move the vanishing point of the perspective guide to match up with the vanishing point that I drew right here. And then I'll lock that tool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the corner of this square towards the vanishing point. And I'll do the same thing with this corner. Start here and go towards the vanishing point. And then over here. All right, then I'm just going to zoom in here and I'll draw in a horizontal line right here and I'll draw in a vertical line right here. And then I'm going to do something called drawing through. Right now we can see we've drawn an elongated box and what I want to do is I want to just draw this box as if it was transparent or we could see through it like it was made out of glass. Okay. So I'm just going to draw in a square back here aligning with this corner of the box and this corner of the box. Those two lines meet and that makes that back face of the box. And then I'm going to go from this corner back to this corner. All right, let me draw one more over here. So I'll take my rectangle tool, I'll hold down shift and draw in a square. And then I'll switch to the perspective guide and I'll go from this corner back towards the vanishing point. I'll go from this corner back towards the vanishing point and this corner over here back towards that vanishing point. Okay. So I'll draw in a vertical line over here and then a horizontal over here. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to go from this corner of the box over and I'll go from this corner up and then right here we'll draw a diagonal going back towards the vanishing point. All right. So now I have sort of two elongated boxes in one point perspective. What I want to do is I just want to actually change the color of these boxes and that way I can easily distinguish the cylinder from the box that encompasses the cylinder. So I'm going to turn off my perspective tool and what I'm going to do is over here in the boxes layer, I'm going to lock the transparency and I'm just going to bring up my color up here and I'm going to go to like a blue color over here. Okay. I'll take my paintbrush. I'll press the uh, bracket key to increase the size of the brush. And then I'm just going to paint over this. You can see because I have locked transparency turned on, it's only changing the canvas where I already have paint on the page. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the cylinders layer. I'll change the color to black and I'm going to bring up my ellipse tool. I'll switch back over here to my pencil. I'm going to double click on this button right here to make sure that my ellipse is a perfect circle and I'm going to scale up and I want this circle to match up with the square right here. Maybe a little bit more here. Okay. So now I'm just going to trace this ellipse, draw in a circle. I'm going to move the ellipse back to this square that's further away from us. 
and I'll scale up a little bit, just fit it in that, inside that square. I'll trace this one and I'll, I'll make it a little bit lighter, the thickness of that circle. So now I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm going to try and align this ruler with the two circles. And actually, I'm gonna to need to zoom in further because I wanna be able to see this as closely as I can. Okay, so I'm gonna just try and find the place where these two meet. So I'll start up here with a, a heavier line, I'm pressing harder on the pen, and then I'll lighten up the pressure as I go back. Okay, all right. Now I'm gonna reorient my ruler right here. And I'm gonna go from here. So I'll start with more pressure and then I'll lighten up as I go back. Okay. All right, so we've got our first cylinder over here. Now let's go over here and draw the second one. I'm gonna move this over, scale up. And this front circle, I'm gonna draw with more pressure, make that line thicker and darker. And this back circle, I'll scale down. And I'm gonna make this smaller and lighter. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in over here. I'll take my ruler and I'll go from this edge to this edge. So start heavy and then lighten up as I go back. And then same thing, I'm gonna go over here, align the two circles. Okay. And I'm just going to hide the box layer and look at our final result here for our two cylinders. And then just to show that, you know, that part of this line we're not supposed to see. So this is sort of like the top and this is the bottom. So I'm gonna take my eraser and I'm just going to erase in here. And I'll make this a dashed line. So that we know that this is behind something that's not supposed to be visible. I'll do the same thing over here. And in here, I might just trim this just a little bit. I didn't quite get that line aligned just right, but it's close enough. So now I'd like you to create two more cylinders below the horizon line in this picture. So go ahead and pause the video right now and draw those other two cylinders. And then if you have additional time, start the video back up and I'll give you instructions for the bottom section of this canvas. Okay, let's zoom in on this bottom picture plane right here. I'm gonna switch the horizon line and I'll take my pencil. I'm gonna put in a horizon and then I'll put in a vanishing point. All right, so now I'm gonna go over here to my boxes layer. I'll unhide that. I wanna unlock the transparency and I'm gonna switch my color to blue. I'll take my ruler. I'm gonna set up this ruler. Let me zoom in a little bit more actually. Set up one handle of the ruler on the vanishing point and the other handle over here. I'm gonna set this to, let's say 70 degrees. Okay, I'll draw in a line right here. And I'm gonna rotate and I'm gonna set this side to negative 70. Close the ruler. And now I'm gonna draw in a horizontal line. And I'll put in a second horizontal line right here. Okay, 
So I take my eraser and I'll erase. What I'm doing is I'm drawing a square in perspective, in one point perspective. So this bottom horizontal line is longer than this top horizontal line because in this drawing, that line is supposed to be closer to the vanishing point on the horizon. So that's gonna look shorter. So even though in the real world we'd have a square, we're drawing it the way that our eye sees the real world and things that are further away from us are smaller. So I'll finish erasing this. I'll erase this over here. I'll erase down here and over here. Okay, take my pencil and I'm gonna hold down shift and draw a straight line going up. Another one over here, okay. And then I'm just gonna draw in a horizontal line. So here we have the front of our box. And then I'm gonna bring my ruler back up. I'll put the one handle on that vanishing point and the other handle is gonna meet up with the top corner of this face, this front face of the box. We'll draw going back. Switch to the other side. Draw this way. Okay. All right, so now we can connect these back corners of that square at the bottom of our box. So I'm gonna hold down shift. I'll connect this going up. Connect this corner going up. And now I have one more line. I'm gonna go horizontally across like so. And now we have a finished box in one point perspective. I'm gonna take my eraser and just erase here. Okay. All right, so there's my box. I'm gonna take my eraser right here and just quickly make the, these lines, like if the box was made out of glass, we'd see, you know, these lines here, but I just wanna show that we're drawing through the shape, right? So these lines back here, if the box was made out of a solid material that you couldn't see through, you wouldn't see those lines. All right. So now that we have our box in perspective, we can draw a cylinder. So I'm gonna switch to the cylinder layer. I'm gonna bring my ellipse up. I'll bring it down here and then I'm gonna zoom in and I wanna place this ellipse. Now what I want you to look at is down here, as I, move and scale this, right? As I scale it, the numbers don't change too much. But when I move this button right here and I click and drag on this, you can see the degree of the ellipse changes. Now, your degree is gonna be different from my degree, but I want you to just take note of the number. So for me, the degree of my ellipse here is about 25, 26 degrees for it to fit inside this square, okay? your number will be different. And what you're doing is you're just fitting your ellipse inside the bottom plane of your box. The number is gonna be important later, all right? So I'm just going to take my pencil, I'm gonna draw this in black, and just trace the line here, okay? Now, I'm gonna close the ellipse, and I'm gonna hold down Shift, and I'm gonna draw a straight line going up, this will be the side of the cylinder. I'll do the same thing on the other side right here. I'll draw a line going up and then down. Now I'm gonna bring the ellipse tool back. And remember, I have this 25 degrees, so that number. Now as I move up and I try and place the ellipse up here on this face, I have to shrink this. The degrees are going to be smaller here. So this is gonna be five degrees or six degrees rather than 25. This is really important for the illusion of perspective. As we move up, we see less of this face as it approaches the horizon. So now I'm gonna draw in, once again, I'll draw in an ellipse here, okay? And then I can hide the box and we have just our cylinder. I'll do it, go ahead and just sort of mark, make sure that we understand that this line is a line that we're not supposed to see. We're sort of drawing through so we understand the entire form. 
So the important thing to know here as we draw this is that as we move up towards the horizon, the ellipse gets squashed, right? So the ellipse is much taller down here and shorter as we move towards the horizon. Now, if you always create a box first, it's very easy to place that cylinder inside and you don't even have to remember that the degree of the ellipse changes. So as long as you start with the box, you'll be fine when you're drawing your cylinders in perspective. All right, let's go ahead and save this file to your documents folder and then save a second file to the Dropbox so that you receive credit for the assignment.